the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, breaking down our 2012 NFL Draft Prospects preview. We're going to take a look at the tight end position and see which tight end prospects shape up to be NFL prospects. We're also going to look at some small school prospects and some sleepers that you want to keep an eye on. Dwayne Allen out of Clemson is a top tight end target in this draft. This guy has great hands. He excels in route running and has a nose for the end zone. Reminds me a lot of a bigger version of Keith Jackson that used to play for the Eagles and Packers back in the 90s. The weaknesses is his experience in blocking, but you're going to see that same type of weakness throughout this draft class with these tight ends due to the way college football has transitioned the tight end position. Orson Charles out of Georgia is a guy that reminds me a lot of Shannon Sharp and also reminds me a lot of Vernon Davis in that he's that type of vertical threat, has great hands and it has the versatility where you can flank him out and take the one-on-one -on -one matchups with a strong safety or a linebacker. What he doesn't excel is that he doesn't follow through on his blocks. If he can improve that and get more physical at the point of attack, this is a special player. Kobe Fleener out of Stanford has the experience that you want in the passing game. Also has great body control, which allows him to lay out for catches, and he does a great job of running after the catch. So he has that burst that you want from the position where he can do better is that he tends to play a little bit high at times. That's why he has tr trouble in blocking, but he does a good enough job of blocking. So I think right there, that's what got him a second-round grade in my opinion, but still, nonetheless, a very good target. Michael Ignew out of Missouri is a guy that provides instant matchup problem 6'5", 235, has some explosiveness, some sneaky explosiveness. He does a great job in running routes, soft hands, playing with his hand in the ground is where he has some weaknesses and he can improve that, but that's due to the fact that he played, again, in the spread offenses and the way college football is trending, tight ends are more flanked out as opposed to with their hand in the dirt, but this guy still is a valuable target and a very good option for a team looking to pick up a tight end in round two. Well, Darius Green out of the University of Louisiana, a fellow Raging Cajun himself, strengths are he has outstanding hands. He can high point in football, catches everything with his hands. No body catching with this guy. Also does a great job in the red zone because he's an instant mismatch. Almost gives the look of a bigger wide receiver. Imagine Marcus Colston for the Saints being a tight end. That's what Darius Green is. Where he can work on his game is that he's a little bit hesitant in his routes and it doesn't allow him to play fast. If he can improve that, this guy is a true sleeper at the tight end position. Here's some other top quality tight end prospects in this draft. George Bryan out of North Carolina State is an old school tight end throwback guy that does everything well. Great blocker, physical, good overall game. He does lack explosiveness, but as a pure tight end prospect, there's no one better than George Bryan. Brian Linthicum out of Michigan State has the athleticism that you want at a position. And he does a great job of opening up an offense with the ability to go up and snatch the football out of the air, lay his body out. He's a willing blocker, so that's something that's a plus for a tight end coming out of college. But he disappears and stretches during the game, and that's something that he's going to have to improve on if he wants to be a continuous starter at the next level. David Paulson out of Oregon is another guy that understands the passing game, had a lot of experience in it at the University of Oregon. Great size, body control, also does a great job of making plays after the catch. Where he struggles is that he doesn't have the supreme athleticism, but he does have enough to get open, and that's why I think he'll be a viable target at the next level. D'Angelo Peterson out of LSU is a guy that was plagued by bad quarterback play at LSU, but he does have experience in blocking, is very athletic and underrated hands. If he can get caught up to speed in the passing game, this is going to be an intriguing sleeping target for anybody looking in the middle part of the draft to get a tight end. Now here's some small college tight end prospects that you want to keep an eye on. A guy out of North Central, Kyle Fedorowicz, 6'7", 260 pounds, played at North Carolina State, now transferred to Division III North Central, but the guy has tremendous size, red zone ability, and has the sneaky explosiveness that you want. Keep an eye on him in the middle part of the draft. This guy could rise up the draft boards. Sean McGrath out of Henderson State is a guy that has uber athleticism, doesn't mind sacrificing his body, and always finds a way to make key plays in clutch moments. Where he struggles is that he's not strong at the point of attack, so blocking may be limited. If he can improve that, he can be he can have a long career at the next level. Now here's some tight ends with pro potential sleepers. You look at a guy like Brad Smelly out of Alabama, 6'3", 233. All he did was catch the football with his hands and move the chains and knows how to settle into zones. You also keep an eye on a guy like Dallas Walker out of Western Michigan, 6'5", 238. With a lot of size and athleticism that you want out of the position. 
football game plan has you covered with all your draft coverage. Visit our draft page at footballgameplan.com slash draft. Also, like us on Facebook. We have a fan page. Become a fan of ours on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at FBallGamePlan. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel that you're watching right now at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan Radio Show, which airs every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan. Also, listen to our draft analyst Chris James' Draft Prospects Preview Show every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.